oh, it's just uh, so much fun. And so you are helping the environment by reducing waste and then you are saving money in your wallet. But seriously, it is one of my favorite things. This one is super boring, but very potentially important. Hello, travel lovers, and welcome to A Wanderlust for Life. I'm Jessica, and this is the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. But sometimes I talk about expat life and the different things that go along with living in Amsterdam. So in this video, I'm gonna share ways that you can save money if you live in Amsterdam. So let's get into it. Let's just start with transportation. <laughs> There are multiple ways to save with transportation costs. The first one is buy a bike. You buy a bike once, all you have to do is keep up with it, make sure nobody steals it. So you do need two locks, but having a bike means that you are gonna be using public transportation less, which means you pay less. But there are always going to be days when you don't wanna cycle, whether it's, I don't know, pouring down rain or <laughs> whatever, because that never happens here jokes, it always happens here. But anyway, if you wanna ride the bus and the metro and the tram, then you can check out the GVB Flex Pass. Basically, GVB is the company that has the transportation inside the city. So you can have a Flex Pass that gives you a discount depending on how often you travel and things like that. I'll leave all the links down in the description below if you wanna check out the different options and see what works best for you. They have a lot of really good information to help you figure out if you'd actually save money. If you wanna travel on the weekends or anything like that, you can get an NS subscription. So NS is the train system here in the Netherlands. It's a national train system. And I have the subscription and that gets me 40% off on off peak times. So not morning rush hour, evening rush hour during the week, but all weekend and the rest of the day during the week, which is great. So it's perfect if you wanna travel on the weekends, but you know, you don't really need it to be super, super cheap because you're not doing it all the time. But there's lots of different options. I wanna say though, if you work for a Dutch company, um, they may actually give you a business card for the NS and that should cover your travel from home to work. And there's a couple different ways that that can happen, but if that happens, then you travel to work for free. And if not, then they should be giving you um, a certain amount per kilometer back into your paycheck. But if you don't have those options, these are other good options to do. Groupon. If you're from the US, you're probably familiar with Groupon. So it is basically coupons <laughs> that you can use for services and products. It isn't, in my opinion, as good as the US. There aren't as many options, but it's always good to check it out and see if there is something on there that you want to use or buy or anything like that. The main thing to remember is if you wanna save money, not to just go browsing and see if you can find anything to buy. It's more like browsing for a purpose, if that makes sense. Another one is Social Deal. I haven't used this myself. I've only used Groupon here, but Social Deal is very similar. So it's one to definitely check out. For spa services, haircuts, things like that, Treat Well is where I go. So I use it just to book services, but also sometimes they'll have discounts. Maybe it's an off-peak discount. Maybe they're, the place is just having a sale, but this is where you'll find it. And there are so many salons and spas, massage places on here that you'll definitely find something for you. Too Good To Go is one of my, it's just, it's such a great idea. Basically, I don't even know who came up with it. The idea is you can go on the app and you can find places that have leftover food. So we're talking restaurants, hotels, grocery stores, things like that. And they will then give you a box of food. I think it's five euros, but you don't get to choose what it is, but it's a great option if you are trying to save money and you're going home from work and you wanna grab dinner. One of the places might have something. And so you just check the app, you let them know that you're coming and then you get a big box of food. And so you are helping the environment by reducing waste and then you are saving money in your wallet, which don't we all want? <laughs> Do you just wanna have some fun <laughs> and go out and just not spend a ton of money? Well, restaurant week might be a good option for you. It's, I think it actually lasts a little longer than a week. I wanna say it's like 10 days or something like that. Basically, there's a couple different tiers of restaurants and then you pay a very specific amount and then you get a set menu. And it's a great way to try restaurants that maybe have been on your list, but are a little on the pricey end. So I think it's a great way to, I mean, it's only once a year, but it's a great way to get out and try something new. 
Similarly, cocktail week. Cocktail week's great. Who wouldn't love a cocktail week? Great way to try new cocktail bars, new drinks, stuff like that. They're usually on a discount, I believe, but just the idea behind it, it's a great way to get involved with the city, um, meet these entrepreneurs and these bartenders. Oh, it's just ugh, so much fun. And my favorite, hotel night. I have so many videos on hotel night. They're very, um, shall we say niche videos? <laughs> But if you want to check them out, I'll, I'll leave one up here for you, but I'll leave the rest down in the description. Basically, you have to be an Amsterdam resident. They do check. Um, you put in your zip code, you put in your billing information. Uh, and I think that might be because you don't pay tourist tax and anybody who doesn't live in the city would pay a tourist tax. But you can stay, again, there's three different levels and you sign up and then you see what's available. You can see what's available beforehand, like which hotels are participating, but then you can pick one of the three levels and book a hotel that maybe is out of your price range normally. I've yet to get into the Pulitzer for how many years now? Six, five, five, six years I've tried to get into the Pulitzer. <laughs> It's always booked by the time I get there. But I have seen some really cool hotels this way. And the awesome part is there's events around it. So each of the hotels, at least most of them, they also do an event. So that might be a tour, that might be a dinner, that might be the crazy experience that you never even thought of. Like there's been hot tubs at the top of um, the Double Tree by Hilton, by Central Station, like outside overlooking the city. Uh, we've done some incredible food events but seriously it is one of my favorite things if you didn't know about it beforehand look it up because i think you'll like it and don't you want to know what hotels to recommend your friends and family <laughs> buy a museum card this like if you live here and you don't have a museum card what are you doing with your life because a it helps the museums and who doesn't want to help the museums and b it might get you to get out there and see the museums if you're not a museum person like me. Now it isn't for every single museum in the city, but it is for most of them and it actually is for museums all over the country. This is not just an Amsterdam thing. I just think it's a great use of money. It's not that expensive, about 60 euros I think, but it is just, it is so, so worth it and it does last a year. So all year round you can just go after work or go on the weekends and there's something to do just built in. <laughs> if you wanna save money on groceries, the most obvious choice here in the city is markets. Go to the outdoor markets. There's one in every single neighborhood. It may not be flashy or fancy and people may not know the name like Albert Kite Market. That's okay. I would go as far to say, I think the local markets are even better than the ones you know about. <laughs> just my opinion but I really I really do believe that I've been to a couple of the tiniest ones on the tiny squares and they are just so much better because the prices are really low it's good quality stuff and people know people like it just feels very community oriented you know what I mean rewards cards so who doesn't have a card for a store if you're from the US you probably have a dozen cards at least. So here it's the same thing. You can get one for the grocery store, for the drug store, for so many different places. And you definitely want to keep using them because it is just free points that will get you something in the future or discounts that you can't get without it. So definitely, definitely do that. Similarly, use Air Miles. Sign up for that because with um, Albert Hein, which is one of the main grocery stores, and Atos and a couple other shops, you get points automatically and then you can use that for money off your grocery bill or other discounts or just um, priority to certain events and stuff like that. Again, it's just stuff you're getting anyway could get you more stuff that you would really love. So there's no reason not to get it. This one is super boring, but very potentially important. Shop around for your insurance. Now there is a basic insurance that is gonna be the same for absolutely everybody, but I'd say a lot of people use different parts of their insurance and they wanna add different modules and things like that. So if you're planning to have a baby, you would want kind of what I would just call like a maternity module. They're not gonna be all the same. So you wanna look at that. You wanna look at maybe how often you can change things about your insurance. So there's lots of different things. Like I have um, the extra insurance for alternative care. And that means like I can go to the chiropractor and stuff like that. And I don't 
pay the whole bill. So like, just like little things like that, you wanna check and make sure that you are covered the way you wanna be covered, you have the best service and at the best price. And that is a great way to do it. There's a great website um, to compare that I'll leave down in the description. And back to travel, because when isn't my mind on travel? <laughs> train tickets. So I talked about the NS um, subscription, but even with that, sometimes I try this website, I'll leave it down there, and you'll find discount train tickets, like a day pass or a weekend pass or something like that, that somebody's selling. So maybe Crowdbot, which is one of the drugstores, maybe they're selling it, drugstores, CVS, Rite Aid, just wanna, <laughs> that kind of store. <laughs> um, so you can get them there and then you usually go and you just ask for that and that, you know you pay for it and it can be cheaper than even with a discount. But you will wanna check on 9292. You can use the num numerical numbers um, .nl on the website or get the app, which I would recommend. And you can see how much the journey would cost. Keep in mind, this discount train ticket is for the trains only. So it is not for getting to the train station on the Amsterdam side or getting to the trains or getting from the train station on the other side. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the prices. And lastly, buy secondhand. Yep. So I don't know if you're familiar, but Amsterdam has the largest flea market in Europe. <laughs> it is once a month in Amsterdam Nord, where I live. And it is called Ihala. I J H A L L E N. And of course I'll link it for you, but it is great for secondhand stuff. We also have so many secondhand stores, whether it is thrift shops for clothes or secondhand furniture and things like that. So many of them, you should not have a problem finding really anything. The problem might be finding a way to get it home <laughs> if you're buying anything big. But as far as finding it, not a problem. We also have Mark Plots, which is kind of a combination between Craigslist and eBay that a lot of people sell on. Of course, there's Facebook. My favorite is rebuy.nl, R-E-B-U-Y.nl. Just my favorite. One of my camera lenses I bought on there, my um, Bose earbuds that are noise canceling I bought on there. Basically, it's electronics that are refurbished and they come with a warranty, which is perfect. But they're clean, sanitized, tested, all of that, and you can buy like different levels, whether it's used, lightly used, you know, new, new package, whatever. I love that website so much. Highly recommend it. If you have found this helpful, please go ahead and like the video, share with anybody that you think might be helpful. Did I forget anything? Any other ways to save? Let me know down in the comments. And if you got this far and you're like, I was looking for ways to save to travel to Amsterdam, sorry. But let me know that down in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.